Did you know you could use OneNote as a whiteboard on your iPad and mirror into a Zoom meeting? So are you guys ready to see the coolest thing ever? This is so cool. I'm excited to share this with you guys today. So what I want to discuss with you is how to mirror my iPad into a Zoom meeting that I'm running on my laptop to be able to use uh, OneNote as a whiteboard. Now, Zoom does come with a whiteboard feature. It's really cool, uh, but OneNote uh, has a little bit more capability than what I get out of the whiteboard in Zoom. So first, I want to show you how cool this really is. And then at the end of this video, I'm going to show you uh, actually how to get this up and running. So here's my iPad that I'm mirroring. And I've already launched my Zoom meeting. And again, I'm going to show you how to do this momentarily. So on my iPad, I'm going to look for OneNote. And what I did was I went to uh, OneNote in the App Store, downloaded the app, and then uh, was able to, to log in to OneNote using my Valencia credentials. Uh, through our Microsoft Office suite, we have free access to OneNote. So I'm able to download it onto my iPad and then log in, and I have free access here. So I'm going to go ahead and click to add a new page here and just for demonstration purposes and I could give it whatever title that I want and then I'm going to come down here into the workspace and start to do some cool stuff. So as I'm engaging my students uh, in an engagement hour through Zoom, I'm using this as a whiteboard. So if you look up at the top menu, I'm on the insert menu, I can switch to the draw menu. These are the two main menus that I go back and forth between. So on the draw menu, it's relatively intuitive, but just to show you, I can click a pen and choose a color. And I actually can have three different pins with preset colors. So I could have black ready to go. Uh, that was like what, a pink or a red ready to go. And then you know, I could do purple, right? So I can have three separate ones. I have some highlighters that I can use as well. You can choose colors there. Um, so just to show you, know, here's an eraser, right? So I can do some writing and also point out to you here that I have you know, different settings for the thickness of my pen. Uh, and I can even go to more ink colors if I want to get a little bit more crazy creative. Now, obviously, for accessibility purposes, we typically want to use pretty dark inks. So I'm going to stick with, you know, kind of black, a dark red, you know, maybe a dark blue, stuff like that. So once I'm in this pin mode, I can, you know, write some math. I can write anything that I want. So this is like writing on a whiteboard with a pen or a whiteboard marker and I can do work and of course while I'm in Zoom I'm narrating I'm speaking to my students um, and we're discussing we're working on math here if I make a mistake I click the eraser button I erase and then I go back to my pen if I want to highlight something specifically right I pick yellow I can highlight something can choose different colors for that highlighter uh, I'm gonna go ahead and erase that as well I don't want that a couple other cool features up here as well uh, up in the upper right hand corner there's a different geometric shapes that I can have in input automatically I could pick a rectangle and just tap and drag open the rectangle I could also you know do a set of XY axes uh, and then there's the set of axes now I can tap those features um, actually I'm going to use the lasso select here so I'm going to choose the lasso select oops and I grab and move that where I want it pick the lasso select again and grab I can move that one as well so I can move objects I could even do the same with the equation that I had here move that around uh, if I feel the need to do so. I can also bring images and PDFs into these documents. This is probably my favorite part here. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on the insert tab up at the top and then I'm going to tap in my document to get my cursor there. Now one of the things I could do is I could click on pictures up in the very top kind of left here on this menu and I can go into recent pictures and I can pull out different pictures here. Click done. This is my daughter's iPad, so there's some pretty funny pictures in there. In the bottom right-hand corner, click Done, and there's that photo. Now, this was a student who was working on a homework question, and he took a picture of the homework question and emailed it to me. So I was actually able to do a little Zoom conversation with him here, and I could go back to the Draw menu, and we could discuss things uh, related to his work. 
So I could come in and say, okay, look, you made a you made a mistake in this realm from this problem here, and what you wanted to do was yada yada yada. So I can have a conversation or I'm annotating or writing on that particular work. So any photo I could bring in. In fact, another really cool thing is if I go back to that insert tab. Let me scroll down here and put my cursor. I can click on the camera feature and then anything that I want to take a picture of, here's some work that I was doing on paper. I'm going to take a picture of that and that'll bring it into my document as well. So I can address something, anything that I want, right? Obviously take a picture. I can discuss back under the draw menu and highlight pieces of that picture and annotate that as I feel necessary. And one other feature here as well is I could click to insert. Now in order to use anything in the insert, I have to tap my page to get the blinking cursor. And I can insert any type of file or any type of PDF that I want as well. Uh, let me cancel that. Or I could do a PDF and then I can browse. Um, it doesn't have my cursor here. I can ch choose PDF and I can browse uh, my computer as well, go back to locations and look for specific files. So it's not only a whiteboard, but I can import anything that I want, images, files, PDFs. I can take a picture uh, and use this whiteboard space while I'm in a Zoom meeting speaking to my students. And something else I really like about this whiteboard space as compared to the Zoom space, in this whiteboard page is one big continuous white piece of paper so I can scroll. So if I'm I'm going to go back to the draw feature, right? If I'm, uh, if I'm writing equations or whatever I'm doing and speaking to my students, when I run out of room, I can just scroll like halfway up. So the students can still see some of that work and can scroll halfway up. So I'm not having to like create a whole new page where all of that work disappears. One of the other last things I would probably do, um, oh, you know what I forgot to mention to you, up in the top left here is text mode. So I could actually tap in my document, click text mode, and you know that's allowing me to type as well. If I wanted to do that, that becomes an object that then I could lasso select and move around as well. Now, a couple other things I can do right, in, in regards to bringing uh, things into this whiteboard document, uh, I'm going to go ahead and close OneNote for a moment. I'm going to open up another app that I have, uh, Desmo. So I, I use a graphing calculator uh, to show students things. I'm usually in my Zoom meeting bringing up this app and showing this to them. But uh, in my app here, I could do a screenshot on my iPad. So there's my screenshot and obviously that goes to my file uh, photos and then when I go back to OneNote here, just like I inserted, I click the insert tab, I inserted a picture, I can bring back up that picture from my folder of photos and click done in the bottom right hand corner and then there's that photo. So I could go to a website, uh, I could do the same thing, right? I had uh, down here in Safari, I had gone to a website, student was talking to me, there's a, a website called slater.com, it gives solutions to homework problems. He had a question about this solution, so I actually did a screenshot of that website page and imported that back into my OneNote file. So probably one of the last things I'd want to do once I have finished my notes with my students is in the upper right hand corner, I'm going to click on the share button. I'm going to choose to send a copy of this page. And there's a couple different things that I could do here. I like to choose send with another app. Now you could download a PDF converter file and it would load it into one of these app uh, access icons. Uh, what I like to do is click the mail feature and then I'm just going to type to send it to my work email and when I send it to my work email uh, I'm going to give myself some hugs and kisses. It actually converts to a PDF for me. So then I can log into my work email on my laptop, download that PDF that it converts it to, and then upload into Canvas for my students to have access to these digital notes. So real quick, let's talk about the specifics of how I would mirror my iPad. So once I've launched my Zoom meeting on my laptop, I'm going to choose to do a screen share here. And then I'm going to choose the iPad AirPlay. 
And when I click share, what I want to make sure is that I'm connected to the same Wi-Fi. So my phone is connected to, excuse me, my laptop is connected to the Wi-Fi that I see here. So I just want to make sure my iPad is also on the same Wi-Fi. Well, on my iPad in the upper right-hand corner, I'm going to take my finger and swipe diagonally down. And it brings up a settings menu in the upper right-hand corner. One of the buttons says screen mirroring. And once I click that screen mirroring button, my laptop is appearing in the list and I'm going to tap the name of my uh, laptop. Now you can see that I'm sharing, right, there's my laptop's name that I had chosen. And then here's the, the settings menu that I'm talking about here. So if in the upper right hand corner I just grab my finger and drag to the left, I'm going to tap that screen mirroring button and then it screen mirrors the iPad into my Zoom session. And then as a reminder, we have free access to OneNote, as I mentioned. When you're logged into Atlas, you can hover over the Office 365, go down to Office 365, and it brings us to the menu of the whole suite of applications we have access to through our Valencia account. And we could access Outlook, OneDrive, Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, right? and here's OneNote. So on my laptop, I could download OneNote, free access to OneNote in the cloud. And then on my iPad, I would go to the App Store, download the OneNote app, and I can log in with my Valencia cred credentials there.